to come back on the way. He knows that now two maps in a row is what he needs to claim third place at the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge here at Gamescom. And he knows how he's going to do it. At least I hope he does. We'll have to see about that. Alec getting his form by upper yellow. Of course, that will give him a red armor. And actually landed a bit of plasma as well. I think it was maybe only one cell, but better than nothing, let's say. Every damage is going to help, especially in the style. I mean, the next big item is probably going to be the red. And both players got uh, their part of the map pretty unshaved. Nice rocket there by Avac to send him off. But he doesn't have LG and he doesn't have a railgun. And Kula has both. So Kula is still going to look to pick up this red armor or at least put a lot of damage onto it, but he's being a bit late now, and Avec got out so cleanly. This is so big for Avec. He needs that railgun, and he knows it. He knows that Cooler's probably gonna peek him here, but he has, or could have taken away that Mega a little bit earlier than he did. But will finally claim it, and he's the one with the better stack of the two players, and now finally has LG and Rail, so he can really put out a lot of damage, and this time with the Plasma switches out to LG, and again, just brilliant read by Avec. That prediction uh, by was just so amazing. I oh, mean... Great rail again. 2-0. It, it's, it's, it's easy to predict in the first 30 seconds, let's say, that someone comes through with that. But after one minute, to predict it that well, just so good. Eight minutes, 40 remaining. Lower yellow is something that Cooler really could do with right now. Avec knows it and let him get it, but he's already done that LG damage that probably uh, forces Cooler to be nowhere in sight for this red armor, but that's a great move from Cooler, gets himself in. Rockets and rail from Avec equally as impressive. And, and now Avec will have to uh, get that 50 HP, and Cooler went aggressive with the plasma. The rocket already on its way to Cooler's position, and as it lands, it picks up the third frag, but Cooler wisely going super aggressive straight from the start. But that could also hurt him, maybe, if he's going to win the uh, Mega to his shots. Avec is so good at the moment predicting Kula's movements. I mean, he's caught him off three times now. That is just so good. Red Armor next in play. Avec will wait around for it. As he throws that rocket out, it does connect, but not quite sure how much damage it did to Kula. Not too much, I think. And Avec is now the one on the back foot, but he still has a three-frag lead, which... Now he's going to try and hold on to for as long as possible. Cooler will move in, but look at the rockets again from Avec. Brilliant. Cooler returns one equally as impressive, but Avec again will hit one, but he's down to just seven points of health and needs health badly. I'm not sure if that 50 HP bubble is actually up at the minute either. And now Cooler's in the position he likes, yeah, controlling the whole map, and <laughs> that's what we're going to see him doing. And Avec felt the. The pain of that on GM13 already, he couldn't get back in when Avec had uh, when Cooler had full control, and it's going to be interesting to see if he manages on um, Blood Run. Avec, just taking a bit of time here, run the clock down, maybe set up for something on this Red Army. We'll actually make his way in, and Cooler's nowhere to be seen there for that Red Army. He was down at Mega Health, um, and I mean, he's got that lower yellow as well, which means that he is almost 200-200. Avec, of course, 91 and 135. Easily a good rocket there can change the fight though, and that's what Avex landed. But Cooler will push through with a lightning gun, and it will be 3 1. Cooler's comeback set in motion. Perfect LG there by, by Cooler. I mean, that was really spot on. Not a single cell on this there, and that is just really. I mean, Avex even caught him off, and now <laughs> Avex is doing so much damage in this situation. Cooler didn't expect that at all, and Avec might win the Mega if he goes for it, but decides not to, and that might be a mistake in the situation because it's going to leave him on the back foot again. Well, Cooler watching onto that Mega Health position. And he's actually going to go here through for the red. Mega Health did finally go over to Avec, and he smiles because he thought that Cooler would go in for it, yeah. and Cooler thought he was going in for it, and actually neither of them. Uh, made the move, but finally Avex like, oh, Mega's still there. That's kind of nice of you. Thanks for that. But Cooler is really struggling on health, and that's a big thing for him right now because that 50 HP bubble not up. Uh, he's just, he's probably just gonna. Oh, this could be risky. Avex will hear this. Oh. Well, and Rocky he gets jump. away with it as well. Rocky jump up there for uh, that 25 HP bubble. Lower yellow available. There's a good rail from Avex, and the next would finish him. And Cooler faking the rocket jump out, and finally that 50 HP is there for him. But here comes Avec, LG blazing. Cooler will try and return, and actually Avec switched out to rockets. And uh, I think Cooler was kind of ready for that one. 
And Cool has managed to get himself over onto that red armor platform, but drops down just before he spawns. Havik will drop in with a rocket launcher, but he's not hardly hit anything there, and that's bad news for Havik. And they're only sitting on 100 HP now. And Cool is just going to play this so a nice rail. This is surely going to send Havik away. Is he going to risk it and actually make the move to the red? He does, and he gets railed again. And, and he hits two cool. in a row. I mean, that rail. This is this is gonna get Cooler pissed for sure. That was his kill. That was Cooler's kill in that situation. He just pretty much outplayed Avak there, and he, he gets railed twice in a row from Angus, which you just wouldn't expect. Well, right now Avak up high. He knows that Cooler's uh, somewhere down there below him, and actually he will cut him off at that lower yellow. Great move. He will force his way through now, and he's able to pick up the frag, and that will see him four frags clear with 4 minutes 20 left to play here on Blood Run. Mega Health next item in play, and both players spamming a bit of rocket, uh, sorry, grenade launcher down there. And Cooler will actually make his way onto it, but he's taken a lot of damage from it. Avek now needs to line up this rail, which he does connect with. He's quite low, and he's going to have to move over and hit the rail at the same time, which you know, didn't quite work out for him, but there's a 50 health, a 50 armor, and he could maybe get in on red, but he has to be careful of Cooler, who's late for it. And that will be uh, a godsend, basically, for Avic. Yeah, but he's really low on HP as well, so he's probably not going to push in now. But the first of those two who's going to find HP on the map is going to be in a really good position. Avic has a lot of armor, and Cooler does not. Mega health, a freebie for Avic. There is Cooler, oh, and the rocket, rocket was perfect. And that kind of thing's probably going to annoy Cooler, to be honest as he will make his jump over to the red armor. Lots of LG coming out from Avex. Surely there'll be a frag. Well, the machine gun was... Oh, sorry, it was a shotgun that was uh, being thrown out there from Cooler. And again, off the spawn, Avex got these rockets seemingly out of nowhere. Yeah, it, it really seems like he's playing with a raw leg. His prediction rockets are just so good. I mean, the rocket on that yellow there, when Cooler was flying down, it hit exactly the same time Cooler hit the ground. That is just... I mean, that, that you can call luck at some point as well, but... We've seen before, Avek is predicting Cooler's movement so well at the moment. Red armor for Avek. Here in a second, or maybe not, because Cooler's made that cheeky rocket jump over there, and he's hit a direct rocket as well. Question is, will Avek hit the shot? He has hit the rail, and I think Cooler is probably railable now. Yes, he is. And still, Avek leads with seven frags. Cooler knows that he needs to stack up and make an attack probably within the next... 30 seconds if anything's going to happen for him in this map. And Avek looks so confident he's not backing off at all. I mean, he's in a 7 frag lead with 2 minutes 30 to go. You could as well just run this map and play it passively, but he's, he keeps creating the situation for him to get more frags. <laughs> and again, a nice rail down. Upper yellow is available for Avek. Mega health was, of course, taken last. Uh, sorry, upper yellow for Cooler. Last mega was taken by Avek. There goes the Rockets down. Again, Avic will uh, take himself out of that fight and will actually jump over and uh, claim himself that red armor as well. Cooler able to land the rail from underneath, but 150 to go and Cooler still seven frags worse off than Avic. There goes the Rocket jump up and surely this could be a kill for Cooler. Connects with the rail, looking for another one. Oh. Avic hits him from below and again, that kind of cripples Cooler a little bit because yeah. you know, Avic's not, not great, but Cooler still doesn't know exactly what he's on, so might be a bit afraid that, you know, if he pushes in, then Avex going to bring him down. Yeah, and that situation, I really don't know why he went for the second rail shot. 9 HP onto Avex. Surely Cooler's going to move in, you know, but the rockets are great for Avex as well. And he's crippled Cooler again. He just can run freely around the map now, and with 1 minute 15 to go and 6 frags down, that's really not the situation you want to be in for Cooler. And again, Avex standing firm there, this time spamming Plasma. <laughs> He's able to, again, knock Cooler down a little bit lower than Cooler would have liked. And I mean, six frags for one minute. Cooler's got to get a kill pretty much now and then get really, really lucky as well if he's able to do this. Uh, this is probably not going to happen. I mean, Avec is good at running the time now. Even if he loses the frag here, which he might as well now, it's not, it's not going to matter. And here comes Cooler and he will finally pick up that frag, looking for the plasma off the spawn. Avec isn't going to spawn in that position. And that means that Cooler now has to put the damage down somewhere else. Avec dropping down onto that lower yellow, and he knows the more time you waste, the more likely 
The cooler's not going to get anywhere near him for this one. Cooler will push in for the kill again, and he does get it. It's now 8 5. He's actually pretty jumps lucky over. on this phone. 15 seconds. Uh, this is going to be a bad point for him, though. He's not going to catch him now. Now, Avic isn't where Cooler thought, but he spotted him again. Will drop down. Will he get the frag? He's actually chasing in. Four seconds to go. Two frags to do. And of course, Avic can delay his spawns out. And it is going to be Avic who picks him finally and will win the game. Three maps to one in the end. And of course, finish third here at the Intel Extreme Masters. Of course, he's managed to pass there with him. Third place. I'm sure Avic, of course, yeah, everyone wants to win. But a third place in uh, you know, the kind of lineup that we've got here is very good anyway.